Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How good are evening, you? Good evening, teacher. <laughs> Thelma, oh my God. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Tony Rodriguez. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Fine, fine. I'm I have a question. So I, I've, been, I've been waiting to make a question to you ask you a question whatever <laughs> i have a question for you may i uh, where is celso <laughs> i don't know teacher i don't know but i, I think <laughs> <laughs> well, well i hope to good. see him someday because i i went through his job a couple of weeks ago and i noticed it was like closed you know I'm not sure if he's still working there. Uh, Who knows? Well, uh, um, so how's it going? What, what have you been up to? Uh, well, I feel fine. Um, I feel so old. <laughs> old? <laughs> yeah. Not you. No, 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 no. It's not okay. Yeah. And... Uh, well, I I so glad to be here with you again. It's all, and I I gonna learn a little more with you again. Okay. <laughs> Great. Have you been practicing? Mm, a little, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Okay. Good. I'm glad to have you back. Do we have anybody else? Well, we will see. We will see who else is here. Uh, today is just the introduction. Um, you know, the introduction will cover some part of the session. So everybody's connecting right now. There is a beep sound. Hello, Fer, Andres. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you guys? I'm fine. And you? I'm doing great too. Okay. Thanks for asking. This looks weird. I don't know. I think I'm buying a, another. I'm going to buy another. Yeah. Another camera tomorrow. It's really weird. I don't know. Anyhow. OK, so I think we're ready. Um, just giving some time for the rest of you. We are 18 so far. Let's wait for the others. That's weird. That's even weird. Okay, that's gonna be it. Okay, so tonight, well, first of all, make sure you turn on your camera. Remember that being um, in a virtual class is different, but at the same time is good. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay, yes. it's good. Yeah, we have to use our camera, guys, to make sure that we feel like if we were in a live class, that's the whole purpose as well. And so you can get to know each other, right? Okay. So, Stefania, well, I'm going to start the class um, today doing the attendance. I think that that's very important. As you may know, it's 8.04 p.m. already, so... Let me do the attendance first, and then we go with the intro as usual. Welcome back. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Yep. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Oh, Present. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Good. 
Erika Beatriz López Morales. I'm here. Okay. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Not here yet. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Fredis Vladimir Cortez López. I'm here. Awesome. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Amos Alfredo García Granadino. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Oh, good. Okay. Estefanía Carolina Reyes Sánchez. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Jessica Jan Janari Cortes Díaz. I'm here. Thank you. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Hi, good evening. Present. Hey, good evening. Welcome. Okay, guys. Well, uh, just so you know, we are 20 in the class okay and so far we are 18 we're missing two classmates so tonight we're going to start um with a small presentation we're supposed to do every time we start a class i don't know this is weird if i move to this Hello, hey jarvin welcome okay hi it's a pleasure to see you i wanted to see that you didn't mention i didn't mention you Yes. Did I? Jarvin, Jarvin, Jarvin. The name. Hmm. Yeah, you're not on the list. And today is the most important day for you to remind me of this details. You know, you have to be here on the list. So let me see. Okay. How did you get the how did you get the invitation, the link? A questionnaire from English Competitive Through email? Yes. Okay. Both. Email and email. Okay, so you are here. Don't worry. Hello, teacher. You didn't mention me, too. Give me just a sec. Who didn't I mention? I'm sorry. Doris Flores? Suleima. Suleima. Suleima, I didn't mention you. Mm -mm, no. Uh oh, that's trouble. It's a big trouble. Uh oh. Okay, I'll, I'll look into that. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I got you here. I'm sorry. Let me continue with the list. I have Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Okay, Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernandez. To present. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. And Thelma Cleotilde Peña Martinez. Present, Thelma. teacher. Present, <laughs> present. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. It's just that you were in a separate, um, on a separate list. Don't worry. I got you. Okay. Come on. Yeah, I know. Okay. Sorry, guys. I was cold. <laughs> Maybe, I guess. Somebody's sharing screen. Um, please stop. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, let's start. Uh, so today we have to go through some PowerPoint presentation uh, to talk about me. I don't like this because I love to hear first from you, you know, first uh, to hear about you. Number two, this is in Spanish and we are on intermediate five, so no Spanish. But anyways, here we go. Can you see the screen? Yes. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Awesome. Yes. Now, before we move on, I would like to um, request from you, if possible, this is not a must, it's not an obligation, but if possible, 
try to connect on a computer if you can, okay? If you can, if that's possible. If not, that's okay. Because eventually we will do some dynamics, you know, that may require you to be on a computer, but we will talk about that in a minute. So welcome to English for Work program. This is intermediate module five, okay? Just six more modules and you will finish your course, which is good, okay? Yes. So my name is Rafael Antonio Rodriguez Linares. Here in Inglés Corporativo, they know me as Linares. That's the way the boss calls me. Everybody calls me Linares. You can call me Rafael, Tony, whatever you want, or teacher here in the class is okay. Um, my family calls me Tony, as you heard. <laughs> Tell my nose about it. Um, and so, but here in the class, but when you refer to me at Inglés Corporativo, you know, if they go like, oh, who's your teacher? Oh, he's Mr. Linares. No, you can say Mr. Rafael Linares or just Linares. Okay, uh, who am I? Well, my background, um, I'm a student of international relations or foreign affairs. I didn't finish the career, but it's there. I did graduate from a certification with INSA4, uh, for a program for industrial engineering, which is uh, my major, let's say. And I am a certified um, instructor to form other teachers, let's say. I teach teachers how to teach. Um, I have many diplomas, you know, certifications on how to teach online as well. And that's about me with OIT and many other institutions. Um, I've worked at call centers and I am working at a call center right now still. Uh, so it's over 12 years in call centers already. I was a manager at an academy, at English Academy for a year. And I am an administrator basically. So that this is a plus for you, you know, because I love administration. I love uh, manage, management people, you know, personal management and all that. I love that. And this module starts with some sort of deal like that, you know, that kind of technical language that you're going to like it, hopefully. So, and that's something that that's a plus, you know, because some teachers don't know about technical things, you know, with administration, but in my end, I kind of have an idea, let's say it that way, but you're going to help me. You're going to help me. So, this is very important, guys, and we, I need you to start applying these requirements for the program. This is not something that we did as Inglés Corporativo. This is something that uh, INSA4 requires you to do. You need to show your full name when you connect to the platform, to Zoom, okay? Um, if you are an oyente, you know, you didn't subscribe on time to the course, then you will be part of the last students that I mentioned. And that's okay. It's the same thing. You will get your diploma. Everything is cool with that. Okay. Just keep that in mind. Okay. You need to have your camera on at all times. Okay. You need to turn on your camera, have your full name and please, Always have your microphone closed, muted. El, el micrófono apagado, por favor, okay? That's very important. Unless you're going to participate, you turn on your microphone. But the camera, it's always on, okay? And the most important thing, you have to participate in the class, okay? Don't be shy. Not at this point, you're in intermediate five. Important, your attendance on 100% of the classes. Y esta parte sí quizás la voy a decir en español. Es muy importante que ustedes estén acá en cada clase. Ok, deben de estar en el 100% de las clases. Cinco minutos en la clase no es asistir a la clase. O sea, cinco minutos al principio y cinco al final no es asistir a la clase. Conéctense, por favor. Eso es muy importante para poder cerrar cada módulo. Um, la asistencia no solamente se toma al estar presente, sino también a, al cumplir con la clase completa. Es muy importante. La asistencia se tomará 
en tres ocasiones, a las 8, como ya lo hicimos, a las 9 pm y a las 9.55 pm, pm uh, se tomará como válida al escuchar al participante decir presente o present, okay, y tener la cámara encendida. Hay sesiones uno a uno, ok, eh, cada día me debo de quedar con uno de ustedes, whether you like it or not, ya sea que te guste o no, ok, tienes que quedarte 10 minutos más y ese día te invito a que te quedes, ok, si definitivamente nadie puede, yo decidiré a quién, a quién elegir, este es un plus que, que da la academia, esto es algo que, un agregado que te va a ayudar a mejorar en ciertas áreas, y en la libertad, solo estaremos tú y yo, y tú me podrás decir, mire, yo siento que esto me hace falta, que puedo hacer, pues lo hacemos, ¿ok? En muchos casos ya a este nivel lo que hago es hablar nada más con ustedes e ir detectando en la medida de lo posible áreas de oportunidad que podamos mejorar, ¿ok? Eh, no hay permisos, eh, ¿cómo así? O sea que si me da COVID o me enfermo, una realidad palpable, eh, pues no, no ese es el punto, el punto es que yo como como teacher o la academia como tal, no podemos decirte, ah, sí, no se preocupe, auséntese ahora. Eh, no tenemos la potestad de parte del INSAFORP de decirte, sí, está bien, puedes faltar el día de ahora o mañana, tres días, cuatro días. No depende de nosotros. Si sí se entiende que si tienes un motivo de fuerza mayor, pues ni modo, ¿no? Eh, eso sí, solo parece que son tres clases las que se puede faltar. Alexander, que es un experto en eso, me podría ayudar. No sé si, cuántas clases son, Alexander. ¿No? ¿No hablo español? Ok. Ok, good. Bien. <risa> Vamos a ver. Tareas y evaluaciones. Recuerden que tienen una tarea todos los días. Deben de aprenderse 15 verbos y luego los revisamos en la clase todos los días. ¿Verdad, Suleima? What? What? <risa> Yeah, no, it's true. It's true, it's true. <risa> Eso es ya a nivel personal, chicos. Recuerden, si ustedes no están con el martillo en el clavo, como dicen, nunca va a entrar esto. Eso es importantísimo. Bien, pero en cuanto a la realidad es, es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase desde ya ustedes pueden eh, accesar a la plataforma y empezar a, a revisar por qué es importante hacerlo antes, quizá para evacuar cualquier duda que surja ya dentro de la clase. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro se envió de Insafor semanalmente y yo me quedo cada viernes hasta las 12 revisando que ya esté toda hasta donde vayamos, ¿no? Cada, cada unidad. Eh, es importante, ayúdenme con eso por favor, porque no me gusta estarlos presionando a la hora de las horas si hay, no ha hecho sus cosas, no ha subido sus, sus um, tareas no ha hecho sus evaluaciones, la, la plataforma es bien sencilla ¿no? la fecha límite para terminar el examen medio o midterm en nuestro caso es estar estas oh my god las no, um, estas fechas están mal Today is the 25th. Ok, yo les voy a corregir estas fechas, pero sí hay una fecha límite para el midterm y para el examen final, que no es septiembre. Ok, el, ex, el formulario, el, perdón, el manual lo pueden descargar desde la plataforma o incluso yo se los puedo enviar um, a nuestro grupo de Zoom, al cual espero que ya todos se hayan unido. Si hay alguien que no se haya unido, me lo deja saber. Y pues recapitulando en cuanto a la plataforma, en este ambiente virtual es importante el botón silencio, en todo momento encendido, solo si se va a participar, lo enciende sin pena, solo trate de no tener um, mucho ruido en su ambiente, en su entorno, ¿eh? que pase el pan, que la gallina, lo que sea, ¿no? Eh, tenemos como herramientas el chat, los breakout rooms, que los vamos a ocupar mucho, y dentro de en los breakout rooms encontrarán un botón que dice Ask for Help, que es para invocar a su servidor acá en cualquier momento, ¿ok? Bien, alguna pregunta, alguna duda, inquietud. Why am I speaking in Spanish? Oh my God, sorry. <coughs> clear? Yes, yes clear. Okay, Doris states that her screen is blurry. Anybody else? No, okay. Teacher, teacher, hey. teacher. 
I had some problem with my camera. Yeah, I, I, I can tell. I noticed okay. you're trying to turn it on and it comes. I think it's the background. You have the background is on. Okay. It's a setting. Do you need to check your settings on the video, honey? Okay. I, I learned. <laughs> I learned. Uh, in the in this form, it's, it's difficult for me teaching online. <laughs> okay. I'll help you. I'll help you later, okay? I'll text you so we can work it out. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. So we're all here. We are 20. Do you have any questions, guys? Any questions at all? Not at all. Are you sure? Okay. I, I see many new faces actually. Doris, I don't know if Doris has been with me. Jarvin, uh, let me see. Erwin, I don't know who's Erwin. Lagos, I don't know. Okay. Erica. You know. Teacher, I am here. Hey, what's up? I am here, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> I was saying that I don't know who you are, but it's okay. Okay, let's start with Erwin. Erwin, tell us about yourself. You have 30 seconds. Myself. Myself is so easy. Easy myself. Only that. <laughs> 30 seconds. <laughs> Come on. Tell us about yourself. Go ahead. Okay. Um, no. I have my business. Um, I try to work so hard in my business. I want to... To have the customer so with smile when go at, the, at my business, um, I try to to study English because for me it's so important. I had to make a, some business, for example, in, in China, and I need to practice English so much. And I like to I I like to see you, teacher. Thank you. Excellent, Erwin. Okay, select someone else, Erwin. Yeah, thank you. Only that. It's so easy, so fast. Give me a number between one and ten. Uh, seven. Seven. That's a good number. One, yes. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Okay. Well, actually, I consider myself a. Uh, I'm a proactive person, but now I am a little bit tired, you know, because my day was so exhausted. But anyway, I am consider myself, uh, well, I like to get along with new people, right? In, in Because I, in this class, I saw new, new people. And I think that I can improve my English skills every single day. And that is the reason why I'm here right now. And I'm so glad to be here with you all guys. Good job. I consider myself. I consider myself. <laughs> okay. Okay, excellent. Alexander, give me a number between one and 10 again. Five. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Edwin Alexander Ayala. Uh, hello uh, to everyone. Hello. Um, uh, my name is Edwin Alexander. Actually, I like to get along with everyone. And I'm very glad to be here with you guys. And it was, it's a pleasure to meet you, teacher, and to everyone. And um, well, uh, I'm a, uh, my profession is uh, I'm a driver. And um, uh, well, <laughs> so I don't have no more no words to say. All I want is to learn in this in this intermediate five, and I would like to to do the things right. You know, thank you. Do the things right. Okay, awesome. Uh, so guys, tell me about your background. Where are you coming from? Are you from intermediate four with us, with English Corporativo, or? Is this your first class with us? Okay, who is next? Edwin Alexander, a number between one and 10. Nine. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Just connecting the audio. Fernando Ernesto, go. Hi. Uh, 
I, I am a developer. I, I, I work <laughs> developing mobile apps. Um, I like soccer. Um, I, I would, in, in this year, I would like to improve my, my English level. And that is because I am here. And that's it. <laughs> that's the reason I'm here. That's the reason why, I'm, yeah, that's the reason why I'm here. That's the reason I'm here. <laughs> hmm. Excellent. Good, good. Okay. And Fernando is coming from Intermediate 4. For many in this group, I have been with you guys for four months since Intermediate 1, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four. And this is the fifth module. I don't know why you want me here still, but it's okay. <laughs> you like my fatty face. It's cool. Okay, let's see. Fernando, a number between one and five. One and five, <clears throat> three. One, two, three, Stefania Reyes. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm new here. I'm, um, I'm an industrial engineer. I work at a bank, and this is my first class with English Corporativo. I hope to improve my English level. So I am anxious to start this class. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Give me just a minute. Um, okay, I'll, I'll start selecting people at random. Uh, Suleyma, would you continue? Okay, uh, good evening to everybody. My name is Suleyma Ibong. I work at uh, Fruit of the Loom in Salvador. And this is my eighth course with English Corporativo. Um, and I love my two little dogs and I think you can see all of them in my background. And I'm happy to be here and happy new year to everybody. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, happy new year. <laughs> okay, let me see, Erika Beatriz. Hi everyone, uh, as you can see in my screen, my name is Erika Lopez. I have a degree in international marketing and currently I work in Grupo RAF. And for me, it's so important to improve my English because uh, sometimes I have to, to talk with some providers from another countries and uh, by email or by WhatsApp is a little easy for me, but uh, when I have to speak, uh, by a, a call phone is a little difficult for me. So uh, that is the reason why I, I uh, this is my first class here. In English corporativo, okay. You. Okay. Yes. And other countries, other countries. Other countries, yes. Don't, don't worry, that happens a lot to many, yes. <laughs> to many in this group. So other, plural, another, singular, good. Let's yes, see. Thank you. You're welcome. Freddy's Vladimir. Are you in the woods? Are you in the woods? I really. <laughs> That's a background. It looks so real. Yeah, it does look real. <laughs> Tell us. Well, good evening, everyone. My name is Freddy. I'm a plumber. I'm a nice, a nice person. If anyone needs help, if you're able to help anyone. I'll do it without waiting to get anything back. So that that will be it. It's just I'm just a kind a nice person. So if you trying to make a good friend, I'll be here for any everyone. So I hope to get along with everyone. Awesome. Is this your first time with English Corporativo? Actually, no. Yeah. Before I was let, let me see. I was with um. What was the last teacher's name? Um, Federico Parras. Oh, good, good. Okay. And, and before we were with, uh, with the other teacher that was the same, well, his name, he was, he, his name was the same as mine. So it was Freddy. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Fre yeah, Freddy. I think Freddy was his name. Uh, honestly, yes. there are yes. so many teachers now in English Corporativo, you know, online. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know. Henry. Them. Who? Henry. Henry. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I've been with English Corporativo for 
seven years. Yeah, this is my seventh year with English Corporativo. I love this company. Awesome, awesome. Welcome for this. Um, so you're a nice person. Uh, you like to do favors and not getting anything in, in exchange. Okay, I need a hundred dollars. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <You're scared. laughs> okay, man. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Also, Alberto Salas Benitez. Hello, teacher. Good evening, everybody. My name is Josué Alberto Salas Benitez. I work in Cotecna del Salvador as an operator system. And I start in Glass Corporativo, a beginner force. And it's good to see you again. And for this model, I, I hope to improve my English skills. Good, good. Um, I'm sorry, what, what's your profession or your occupation, Josue? Operator system. Somebody? System operator. Ah, okay. Yeah. System <laughs> operator, great job. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Who didn't I, I didn't mention Alexander yet? He talked already. Blanca Stephanie. <laughs> Hi. Uh, my name is Blanca Navarro. I have been since intermediate one, but with another teacher. Um, I have been classmates with Freddy. <laughs> I, I am sorry to improve my English because I like it so much, but I don't have the, I don't have the opportunity to learn, but that's why I'm here. <laughs> I want to improve that. Awesome. <laughs> Very good. Welcome to the class, Dora Elizabeth Flores. Doris? Good evening. Uh, my name is Dora Elizabeth Flores, uh, but I like uh, Doris. <laughs> Call me Doris, <laughs> please. <laughs> uh, I, am, I am an accountant and I, uh, I I proved a uh, grandmother too. <laughs> no. yeah, that's a more important yeah. profession. It's <laughs> more difficult even. More difficult, it's stress. stress. It's Very stressful. stressful, I know. Yeah. But in the end, you do it with love. And that's, yeah. what, that's what matters the most, guys. If you love what you do, then you're all set, okay? That's very important. Yeah. Thank you, welcome, Doris. Luis Thank Ernesto you. Romero. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Luis Romero. I'm an industrial engineer with a specialization in international service and uh, supply chain management. Um, um, I like to play guitar, um, photography, and what else? I uh, am married with a beautiful wife and I have a beautiful girl, daughter. Um, I, I like pets, I have a cat. Um, I like to study, that's why I'm here. I need to improve my English. Um, just that, teacher. Awesome, thank you. Welcome back, Luis. Luis has been with us since Intermediate One. Jessica Yanira Cortez Diaz, welcome. It's Janari, teacher. Janari. Janari. What did I say? Yeah. I'm so sorry. Get used to it. I'm so sorry. But I'd like to say Janari. And good evening. I'm an accountant, but I work as a auditor technician in a government entity. And I want to learn and improve the, the English language for better job opportunities and in no other countries. Awesome. That's yeah. awesome. What's your first country in mind? What's the first country that comes to your mind when you think about traveling? I would like to travel to Canada. To Canada. Travel yeah. to Canada. Yeah. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. I would, I would, I would like to, to travel. Um, but uh, other countries, uh, maybe United States, because my, my sister there, uh, uh, is there. 
Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, when? Uh, maybe <laughs> other year. <laughs> Next year. <laughs> Next year, 2023? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I think. What's yeah. the what's the date? Um, I, the day I don't know. Maybe in August. Maybe put a Maybe. date. Put a yeah. date. If you have a dream, <laughs> if you have a goal in your life, just put a date on it. Put a date. Yeah. Write it in big letters. You know, on your room where you see in it every calendar. day. <laughs> in a calendar. That's right. Good yeah. luck with that, Sandra yeah. Elizabeth Osorio Romero. Uh, good evening, guys. My name is Sandra Osorto. I am business administration graduate. I have been working at the Francisco Gavidia University uh, for 20, 20 years. I have to learn to the English language every day because it's open now other uh, job opportunities. Awesome. Only teacher, yes. That's it, remember, that's it. <laughs> Repeat, that's it, that's it, okay. That's it, okay. Excellent, Francisco Amadeo. Uh, yes, teacher, actually, <clears throat> I am sick of the micro. I would like to to select another. Oh, okay, not a problem. You can barely speak. I can tell. Welcome, okay. welcome, welcome to the class, Jocelyn. Thank you. Uh, okay, hi. Good evening to all of you. I am Jocelyn Rivas. But I can tell you about myself. I am a really sociable person. I really like to go out and. I am working on my career. This is my last year. It's just missing four subjects. Finally, I am at the University of El Salvador. Uh, for the moment, I am working for a call center. Uh, I really like how the experience like, and it's really going well for the moment. And, but anyway, um, I have a daughter. She is five years old, a beautiful and terrible daughter. That's all about myself. Okay. <laughs> Remember, we are paying a debt. That's the way it oh, is. Oh yeah. Yeah, for my whole life. <laughs> I know. Okay, welcome back, Josie. Um, Thelma, would you tell us about yourself? Thelma, we lost her. Okay. Ja Jarvin is Isaac. Okay, hello. Hello, hello. Oh, excuse me. Okay, okay. Okay, let's go first with Jarvin and then we go with Thelma. Go ahead, Jarvin. Okay, thank you, teacher. Hello, everyone. My name is Jarvin Miranda. Everyone can call me just Jarvin because I like my name. So I, I am 32 years old. I work as a con manager in Confeccionat del Valle. I live in Ourdes. I like the soccer and I, I, I love to spend time with my daughter. Okay. Excellent. Is this, your, this is not your first time with us, right? No. Okay. Okay. What was your first module? I think basic five, I think. Basic five? Okay. Excellent. Okay, welcome, welcome. Thelma. Hello, hello, teacher. Uh, hello, guys. How are you? I, I feel fine with you. Um, okay, my name is Thelma Peña. I work for, uh, for 15 years in Optical La Jolla as, uh, as assistant and um, Assistant General Manager and uh, Accountant Assistant too, and uh, but but I really I'm a physiotherapist. <laughs> it's a it's a long story, but and uh, I 
I would like to learn uh, a little more English, but uh, um, I don't I don't study for long time ago. <laughs> okay, and uh, uh, I I feel I feel good. I feel fine with with uh, with you and in my new guys, uh, friends, and um, it's difficult for me in this online. <laughs> Excuse me. Remember, but it's I... all about speaking. Don't get nervous. You're doing great. Okay, and uh, I I feel a little sick with COVID right now, teacher. Really? But uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, I. I'll be fine. I know you will. Okay. I know you will. I know you're a warrior. I know you're a warrior. I know you will do good. Uh, how, how long have you been with COVID? And um, last, uh, last Saturday? A week. Oh, this, this last Saturday? So you've been three days with COVID already? Okay, last, last, uh, well, really, uh, really in last Friday, I know, I knew uh, that uh, the, I, I, I feel sick with symptom. Oh, you were and, uh, positive. Yes. Uh -huh. But I drink my tea. <laughs> but, but did you, did you get, did you get vaccinated prior? Uh, I right now I feel I feel temperature that I I for okay I know you I'm will 40. do better well William William Alexander yeah. as well is with COVID guys be careful right now this mm -hmm. sickness is everywhere everywhere I know like twenty cases mm -hmm. already I I know like twenty cases already it's crazy um yeah yeah. Hope you get better, Francisco, William, Thelma. Okay, uh, let me proceed. We're almost done. Amos Alfredo, welcome. Okay, thank you. Thank you for all, teacher. <laughs> um, uh, thank you, teacher, everyone. Hi, everyone. Um, I am Amos Alfredo Garcia. Um, I am engineer, civil engineer. I work in uh, projects in my, in my corporation. Um, I was studying English a long time ago. I want to keep, I want to keep learning again. Uh, uh, refresh me and um, uh, the best opportunities for me. Um, another, another, uh, Another goals for me, uh, uh, with uh, uh, travel, business, uh, and other situations uh, uh, for me. Okay. I am sick. I am sick to. Uh, I am sick of COVID. You too. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh in this my moment, God! This moment, it's a, it's a, the pandemic is it's terrible. Um, in this moment, is is a complicated in in El, in El Salvador. Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay, guys, welcome, Amos. Welcome, thank um, you, everybody. Other plural, another singular. Let's keep going. Let's see, Andres Giovanni. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm glad to be here. Uh, uh, I'm glad to new to know new people, and I'm glad to be with all the previous classmates. And I live in Charatenango. I work for a city hall, and I I want to learn English every day and improve my level. Awesome, great job. Okay, am I missing anybody else? 
Um, we have a classmate, uh, Roberto Luis. He's driving all the time, you know, so he's always here, present, helping us with his presence. That's very important. Um, okay, I think we're done, right? Is there anybody else missing? No, Edwin Alexander. No, yeah, no, he did, right? Okay, good. So one thing, intermediate classes, you come out of the grammar. You don't go through the grammar as in detail as we did on basic levels. At this point, you need to speak, 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 and that's it. We just cover topics. I'm glad to hear that we have more people from international commerce, you know, or relations or accountants. Now, Something about this class, um, my class, is that I will let you develop your process thinking. You know, it's, it's just, I like and I love to hear you speaking, but because we as humans, we, we have to learn to develop our ideas, okay? And that's the way the class will be developed. So for example, to start the class today, we have to talk about e-commerce. Do you have your, your manual? Have you downloaded your manual? Yes. Okay. If yes, you, yes, I got it. Awesome. If you don't have your manual, please raise your hand. Raise your hand. You can put an emoji or raise your hand. You don't have the manual. You haven't. You haven't downloaded the manual, okay? Don't have it. Don't have you, don't, it. you don't have it, okay? Yeah. Let me let me do something before we move on. I'll just go ahead and send it to your WhatsApp right now. Already have, but I understand what you're saying. I'm sorry. You need to understand. Can you repeat that? No, no. I already have it. But I misunderstand what you say. Oh, you misunderstood. You misunderstood what I was saying. Okay, not a problem. Okay. So, to start the class today, uh, and sometimes I'll do this with you many times. Uh, teacher, uh, hey. oh, uh, sorry, and uh, the, the manual is uh, downloaded? It's downloadable. Oh. You can download it. I just send it to you WhatsApp. It's on oh. your WhatsApp group now. Okay, okay. Okay. And something else about the class, uh, don't worry about writing everything. If I project something, don't worry about writing because I will take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp. This session, okay. this session is being recorded so you can see it later if you want very important sometimes i will do this i will get closer to the camera so you can articulate words that i consider you may not know yet because the articulation is very important or i will do this so you can mimic my mouth my ugly and yeah. awful mouth okay it's very important the, the moment of the man this man <laughs> that's right yeah that, that's right everything you have muscles yeah. you have muscles in your face in your mouth you use your throat in english everything okay so it's very important uh what else what else oh i think that's it so first question what is e-commerce what comes to your mind when you hear the word e-commerce E-commerce. Online online commerce online commerce is when you buy and sell online. Online, when you buy and sell online, business, yeah, yeah electronic Amazon. selling, Amazon. That's yeah. e that's a clear example of e-commerce, right? Okay. What? Yeah, everything mm -hmm. related to selling, buying mm -hmm. online which is nowadays thing, you know, that's the thing right now. 
Now I have a weird question for you. So we can break up the eyes and we can split the class into small rooms. Some of you may do this for the first time. You will get an invitation on your screen. So you have to select agree, agree to the invitation so you can go to that small group. The question, let's break the ice. Uh, the conversation starter will be, what is the, I'm gonna say oddest instead of weirdest. What is the oddest item you've seen being sold online? Okay. What is the oddest item you've seen being sold online? Strangest, the weirdest item that you've ever seen online being sold? Mm, any one, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing that you have seen being sold online? Something that you thought, oh my God, why are they selling that? I mean, rocks, for example. I think in a class we talked about this, remember? Oh, and this is very important. We are recording the class, okay? So, and I'm going to say it in Spanish. Debido a los derechos de copyright, derechos de autor de muchos videos y mucho contenido en línea, ahora hasta las imágenes se venden en línea. Cuidado, no podemos proyectar muchas cosas en la clase, okay? Porque queda grabado y entonces nos banea YouTube por subir contenido que no nos pertenece a nosotros. ¿Estamos? Good. So, por ejemplo, durante esta clase les voy a enviar un link para que vean un video de YouTube, pero lo van a ver ustedes en su dispositivo, ¿ya? No lo podemos proyectar en la clase, ¿ok? Just keep that okay. in mind. So, what is the oddest item you've seen being sold online? Am I missing something on that question? Uh, very, very thin. Weird. You mean the, the word mm -hmm. weird. Oh. What is the oddest? What is the weirdest item you've seen being sold online? Is that proper grammar, Jocelyn? Alexander? Mm -hmm. Everybody. Do you think it's right? Am I missing something on that word, on that question? Mm, and the really sure is <clears throat> have you seen? Hmm. Or, or the, the question is first, what is? What is the oldest item you have maybe ever? Yeah, that's optional. You have ever seen being sold online. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to split you as groups, okay? So you can discuss this and then bring your ideas to the class. You have five minutes. Um, let's do breakout rooms for the first time and we are 23 okay let's practice guys talk 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 okay just accept the invitation let's go What is the weirdest thing that you have ever have ever seen on internet? I, I think that is underwear that that already been used for a famous people. I don't know by famous by the famous. I think <laughs> there are okay. some people that that sell uh, stuff. Maybe if, if I remember well, I mm -hmm. I heard about a girl that uh, she is a streamer, and he sold uh, the 
the, the water that he took about about so he 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 uh, he put the the water in, in a in a bottles and he he sold that that water on the internet and he sold all the bottles. He um, or she? She she sorry she she, she. yes. Okay. That is so gross. But it's real. <laughs> Uh, I saw on the internet a bottle with air from Turkey, Turkey. Uh, I don't know if you saw that. Uh, no. What if thinking that people buy that kind of team teacher? Uh, are you talking about the TikToker take a shower and this uh, sold a uh, cup of that water? Fernando said it was a bottle. <laughs> she she put the water in small bottles and, and she yeah. sold the bottles. My God, selling used water. <laughs> soppy, soppy water. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. This is your moment to speak. Remember, I'm not here. I'm just listening. Okay. Hi guys, how are you? Uh, are in, the, in the market, how are you? You are Hi, Hamus Alfredo. Your name is Hamus? Yeah. Okay. Jose and the other guys, uh, Stefan. In the marketing, it's, it's so different. The first is communication, and the second is e-commerce. For example, marketplace for Facebook is a communication, no e-commerce. Yeah, because e-commerce, when you have a company and your customer will buy by the web with the credit card. This is an e-commerce, complete e-commerce. The other communication, for example, marketplace, um, in the last pass is a OLX. Mm -hmm. This is a communication, promotion, yeah? Okay. For example, if you have a old company, like a La Curacao, yeah? And you have a physical, a store, the La Curacao, but you can buy all the products in the web and you can buy with the credit card. This is an e-commerce, the evolution for uh, the physical uh, store with a electronic store, electronic in the in the web. This is a marketing, e-marketing, marketing, e-commerce, sorry, sorry. E -commerce. Irwin, Irwin. Wait, I'm sorry to stop there. Just let's stick to the question. What is the weirdest thing that you have ever seen being sold online? Yes, but in the future, in the future, okay, I didn't, this is the introduction, okay? In the future, in the next, yeah, um, the e-commerce will, the how to pay the many person in the web, yeah? This is the future. E-commerce is uh, the website, okay? Yes, it's in the website. Yes. Yeah. This is oh. the future. It's a great Amazon. Yes, but oh, no, no, it's Amazon. Like, for example, like Curacao, Simán. This is the future. But the future is now, okay? But e-commerce is yeah. a selling and buying for good and services, mostly in on, online, on the internet. That is, that's an e-commerce. E-commerce is if you can pay in the in the web. Buy and sell of goods and services. That is the, the mm. correct uh, definition of e-commerce. E-commerce is the, the singular that commerce is to buy and pay. <laughs> yeah, that, that's so sad. Yeah. <laughs> Hey teacher, we we have a, a sick topic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in, sign to, in sign topic. 
And yeah. about, insane, insane topic. What? Insane topic, yeah. About, Freddy mentioned that in China, yeah, they, China. they actually are eating babies for, oh I mean, God. abortion. <laughs> really? Oh, no. That's crazy. Yes. Yes. Human, human meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I heard. I heard that there are some cannibal restaurants in some places in the world. Uh, <laughs> are they selling it on? Are they selling it online now, or what? You can find it on a supermarket. Oh no 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 no! That, that, <laughs> that's gross. Okay. Is that the weirdest item you have ever seen online being sold? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh <laughs> For Christmas. Ah, no, no, come on. Stop sharing. <laughs> Remember, we cannot share content. Okay, good. Keep going. We're almost done. I'm just missing one more group to go to. Okay. <laughs> but I don't like to buy, in, in this case, when, when yes. it's vegetables and fruit, and dry and clothes, I like to buy in online. Or uh, in fact, the, I like the I like both the vegetable and fruit and market. Yeah, yeah. So go. I, 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 I go. go. I go to a uh, uh, market. Uh huh. I prefer. I prefer. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, but. I never see uh, some something or a subject, I don't know, <laughs> and like in uh, all this. Yeah. I never see. No, no. And I never, and I never uh, look, <laughs> look for that. But, but yeah. Janari, would you like to, to, to buy a land of food? In a little board. Or or um, uh, wear thin like uh, like a skin of angels <laughs> for <laughs> some <laughs> it's a crazy, crazy thing. <laughs> skin. Yeah, but but no, I'm always I always <clears throat> I don't know. My mom told me uh, that I always have to go to go buy the thing, but never. And or maybe something when I say uh, like food, but uh, delivery, like delivery. I I, I like. Okay, I think we're almost back. Yep, we're back. Okay, so before continuing, it's nine. It's nine o'clock on a Tuesday. Regular crowds, regular crowds shuffles in. Present. Almost there. Okay, Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Piano Present. man. <laughs> yeah. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Erika Beatriz López Morales. Present. 
Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Madeo Villacorta Chávez. Present teacher. Bien. Fredis Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here teacher. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Eimos Alfredo García Granadino. Present teacher. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Estefanía Carolina Reyes Sánchez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortez Díaz. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana. Suleima Ivón Moreno de Hernández. Present. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Selma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay, so let's put things in common. Let's, before we do that, I have, I took some notes here um, and I need your help. So go to your Zoom chat, go to your Zoom chat and help me. Uh, Stefania, Estefania, I'm sorry, Carolina Reyes. Disculpenme si los primeros dos, tres días o la primera semana me confundo con algunos nombres de algunos de ustedes. I'm so sorry. Okay. So, Stefania, or should I call you Carolina? Whatever you want. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, no. You don't want that. <laughs> okay. Good. So help me with the first sentence. What is it? What is wrong with the first sentence? No is correct to say. Uh, orange is no, an no, no, orange. No. Wait, wait, wait. No, the first sentence, just the first one. No is correct to say. No is correct to say an orange. I, I don't understand what I have to do. Okay. The first sentence is no is correct to say. I didn't uh, notice. I didn't notice. It makes sense, right? No is correct to say uh, orange uh, and book. <laughs> I got you. No, we have one, two, three, four, five, uh, four, four sentences. I have four sentences on the message on your WhatsApp soon. On your Zoom chat. I'm sorry. On your Zoom chat. So what is wrong on the first sentence? Jocelyn, no is correct to say. Can you correct the first sentence? Yes. It's not. Uh-huh. Correct. So is it is not correct to say or? There is it not is correct. Not. It is not correct. Right. You can even contract it. It's not correct to say da, 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 da. okay be careful it's a common mistake on intermediate these little things these little things are ruining your pronunciation your english your grammar and it's so easy to make the mistake so be careful no it's correct to say mm -mm. you say it's not correct to say good the next is easier actually Next one is easier. And be careful with this one. You can say more easy. Uh -uh. Easier. <laughs> okay. Easier. <laughs> Don't make that mistake. It's very common. Hey, next one. A uh, orange. An orange. An orange. An orange. An orange. An orange. You joined it. Okay. Next one. An book. Mm. A book. A, book. a book. How do you call this two? A uh, and an? Article. Articles. Article. That's Article. right. 
Okay. Can I say the Jocelyn? No. Yeah. Salvador, yes. Salvador, yes. <laughs> In El Salvador, yes, right, I know. <laughs> No, they are Alexander, the Rafael. <laughs> the Brian, exactly. Okay, so don't do it. Don't do it, okay? The Yasuri, whatever. No, no, no. Just Yasuri. I prefer go to the market. William Alexander, what's wrong with that? I prefer go to the market. Mm. Hmm. I prefer go to the market. Uh, can I say I would like to mm. like oh. go to the market? No. Uh, no, I prefer... no inventation. No inventation. There is something <laughs> missing. One little uh, thing. So I, pre I prefer oh. go to the market or I prefer going to the market? No, oh, I prefer. Oh, that's the option. Go. Prefer to. Well, that's the other option. Thank you, Alexander. Yes. Fernando said, I prefer going oh. to the market. Good. Or Alexander said, I prefer to go to the market. I prefer to go to the market. I prefer to go to the market. And remember the T between two vowels, you say da, 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 da. Or I, rather. Prefer, I prefer to go to the market. What? Or yeah. rather. Rather. Yeah. I rather I rather I rather go to the market. Excellent. Okay. Let's put things in common. Really quick. You only have 30 seconds, one minute, no more. Share with me, Andres, Blanca, Fernando, Francisco, and Jocelyn. What is the wor the weirdest, the oddest thing that you've ever seen being sold on the internet? Well, we were discussing with the team that the weird things that we saw on the internet is a cloth from famous people that they already passed away. For example, Andres, told us an example of Michael Jackson that his underwear and also one of his jackets was sold for more than one hundred one mil one million dollars sorry what that's crazy Michael Jackson's underwear well if give if it gives you powers <laughs> why not uh, <laughs> I guess not come on oh, it wouldn't I know <laughs> excellent okay next Edwin, Amos, Josue, Roberto, and Stefania. Same question. Uh, teacher, um, the article uh, is um, is a uh, uh, well, Sony Ericsson cell phone uh, sold in e-commerce. Uh, uh, for for uh, one hundred dollars, Sony Ericsson is, is the uh, is is a, is a cell phone an old an old cell phone it's old cell phone yeah. an old Sony Ericsson cell phone for a hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's not common. Okay. I'm just letting you give your ideas. Come on, remember you have to participate. Group number three, Alexander, Erika, Freddy, and Jarvin. Okay, in our group, uh, Freddy shared with us uh, in Chinese, they sell uh, human babies to eat. In China? So, in China, yes, in China. So uh, he said, uh, you can find human babies in a bottle in on supermarket in supermarket, but uh, maybe they are selling through internet. Uh, currently, oh, the black market. That's disgusting. Maybe. Yeah, that's disgusting. I mean, black market maybe, but not the common yes. market. Oh my god! Yes. It's like going going shopping with the family. Oh, let's take some eggs, some milks, a human baby. Okay, <laughs> rice. Oh my god! Hands, <laughs> hands. Oh my god! That's yes. so insane. Okay, thank you. Group number four: it Edwin, Luis, Sandra, and Sulema. Um, and maybe raincoats and shoes for dogs. Shoes for dogs. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god that's cute and weird okay 
It's not common. Have you seen it on Marketplace or somewhere? Uh, in AliExpress and uh, eBay. What about pets underwear? Yeah. <laughs> For Christmas. Find... Oh my God. Dogs underwear. Oh. That's crazy. And it's expensive. <laughs> okay. Mm. In AliExpress are cheaper. No, I mean, but it branded. Dolce and Gavan, Gavan, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh la, la. okay. <laughs> Dora, Thelma, William, and Jessica. Okay, teacher. Uh, I I looked. Some people uh, sell clothes made with uh, the skin of rare, rare, rare animals. Rare, rare. Such animals. such a uh, endangered species or, or or rare perfumes perfumes yeah what okay yeah i didn't know <laughs> i've heard yeah i've heard about it okay oh there's, there's so people crazy people <laughs> when do you think this thing of e-commerce started i mean i think we are all don't get offended but i think we are all over 30 years old right or over 25, 25 years old at least. Is there anybody here over 16? Between 16 and 20? No, 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 okay. I look like 25 guys, but I'm not 25, okay. In fact, I'm about to become 40. I'm about to become 40, um, let me see, in three days, no, two days. In two days, I will be 40 already. So you can tell me, <laughs> happy birthday, okay, in two Ooh. days. <laughs> that's amazing anyways so in that sense when do you think this e-commerce thing started i mean do you remember amos or someone when did it start it what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear e-commerce started with uh, when the internet when the internet was created really Hmm. Yeah. Mm, I disagree with you from that point of view because the first thing that came to the internet once we once Bill Gates was able to create the World Wide Web was um, encyclopedias, you know, like Wikipedia or things Encarta. like that. Encarta, oh my God, Encarta. <laughs> yeah. And then oh Encarta is uh, the, the 1990, 1995, 95, 95, uh -huh. it's all, it's all in my, <laughs> uh, I was, uh, I was young. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> yeah, but the first Windows version was 1995, wasn't it? Yeah. In Carta, uh, 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 sold in CD, in CD, uh, the presentation. But uh, wait, CD, wait, wait, we, we CD, changed the topic, CD. we changed the topic. Wait, but you used to order things over the phone. Mm, yeah. Mm. And Lotus too, teacher. <laughs> Lotus. Oh my you, God. You know Lotus. I, so too easy, easy in the platform in the, the US, the US in iOS in 1998. <laughs> yeah. No, okay, 1998. What is the first what is the first platform that you remember where you could buy something online? I think uh, that it was phone. Amazon? I don't know. Yeah. No, Alibaba, no, Alibaba. <laughs> yeah, Amazon, that, I, I think. That was the first, the first platform that I think that it has, well, it it, it makes it an, impression, an impression for the people because maybe it started with another one, but when Amazon came to the market, uh, all the people want to buy i think uh through, it. The, through the page i think repeat one all, all people 
Repeat, old people. Old people. Wanneru. Old people want. Wanted to buy. All people wanted to buy online. Yeah. Okay, again, all well, people wanted to buy online. All people wanted wanted to buy it online. <laughs> close, close. <laughs> okay, so all the people, remember the specific, all the people that I know, all the people that I know wanted to buy on the, online. All people in general. You don't need the article, the. Good? Good? Good. Okay. Yes. Amazon was pioneer. Amazon was pioneer on using the resource of the internet to sell online. And that is why Amazon is so lucrative. And the guy that founded Amazon became millionaire because he was the pioneer with the idea. And you know what happened? They said, you're crazy, man. Who wants to buy books online? Who wants to buy these things online? Like two, three years later, I think I can remember the story. He became millionaire. Because he was the first one selling his stuff online. That's crazy. I mean, e-commerce has evolved very much and later he had the idea of but we saw this on the previous model remember the previous module we talked about how they move the product from one place to another and we talked about amazon right the, the distribution channels remember yeah yes? yeah yeah that's a, a different topic but man millions of dollars and nowadays you can sell tamales online you can order a pizza as you wish online. You can put the ingredients, they produce the pizza for you, and they send it to you. Do you have to pay online? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, I like it. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I like it. if you order something online, do you always have to pay online? Not really. No. We can pay. No, no. no. I liked something yes, that Irwin, uh, Irwin said something. Wait a minute. Irwin, I named you Edwin Alexander. Look at you. Let me change that. Irwin mentioned something very interesting. And is the fact that uh, Marketplace is not an e-commerce website. It's not a website, it's just a communication website. I like the idea. When he mentioned it, I was like, it's true. You don't have to pay. If, if I buy a car on, can I buy a, a car on Marketplace? No, right? I can contact the seller and go like, hey, let's meet, let's check yeah. the car. Yeah. Right, it's just communication. So what's the difference? E-commerce is exactly what uh, Carolina said, you know, what everybody was talking about. You can transact, you can transact, which means giving your credit card, debit card, your Chivo wallet, whatever form of payment you want to use, Bitcoins, different currencies. What's the meaning of currencies? Currency. Moneda. 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 Yes, you got it. You got it. Remember, you can use different currencies online. That's crazy. I mean, 1995, I was, I'm not going to tell you. Wait, I was 15 years old in 19, oh, wait, 13, 13, 19, 13 years old, sort of, in 1995. I, I will never thought, I will have never believed if someone would have told me, you know, they're going to buy things on this box, you know, on this thing called computer. It's crazy. So that's the topic for today. E-commerce. It has changed the world, definitely. Help me. Let's start on your book. This is page nine of your book. We will be able to differentiate, differentiate, differentiate advantages, advantages, and disadvantages, disadvantages of e-commerce. Um, esta es la primera vez que muchos están conmigo, les doy una clave 
uh, para identificar nuevas palabras y que no se te olviden, identificar el estrés de la sílaba. Differentiate, differentiate, differentiate. Where's the stress? Differentiate. Where's the stress on that one? Differentiate. Here, right? de voz. Yeah, exactly. Acuérdense que no hay tilde, no hay tilde en inglés, sino el estrés en la sílaba. Entonces tú venís y cuando aprendes una nueva palabra, escribila y subraya donde esté la fuerza de voz o le pones como una, um, un pequeño triangulito encima, ¿no? Para que no se te olvide la pronunciación adecuada. Uh, ok, differentiate. Advantages, advantages, advantages. And these advantages, these advantages. Most words that start with these as a prefix, as a prefix, the, these, the racing intonation is on the first syllable. Disadvantages, the disadvantages of e commerce. Okay, so that's what we have to talk about advantages of, and disadvantages of e commerce. <clears throat> so, do only physical stores limit the chances of growth for retail stores? Pay attention. Do only physical stores limit the chances of growth for retail stores? What are retail stores we said before? Mm -hmm. May you repeat the question, please? Yes. Do only physical stores limit the chances of growth for retail stores? What are retail stores? That's the first question. What is a retail store? Mm -hmm. Previous module. Mm -hmm. Like to a little store. It's where you, it's where you can buy uh, things in a minor quantities. Yes, I do. Yes. Yeah, uh, that's the mm -hmm. Oh, to, to detail. Okay, one by one per unit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's the opposite? Aha. Wholesaler. 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 Good, Andres. Wholesaler. Mayorista. Very good. Okay. So, do only physical stores limit the chances of growth? for retail stores. Every retail store wants to become a wholesaler, don't you think? What do you think? If you start an entrepreneurship, curious word, an entrepreneurship as a retail store, would you like to become a wholesaler eventually? Uh... Yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, that's, 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 the goal, right? <laughs> that's the whole goal. More money, come on. More profits. Yeah. But when you when you sell in uh, big in, in bigger quantities, your uh, gross margin is minor also. So uh, the, you the can more you sell. Right? The more you sell, the more you get. Yes. Yeah, volume. It's just about volume. Yeah, totally. I, I agree with you. Of course, there are some exceptions. I mean, yeah, totally. Un punto de vista más. En esta clase tenés que volverte todólogo. No te quedes callado con, solo con lo que sabes. O, o te digas a ti mismo, prohibido decir a ti mismo, ay, no, yo no sé de esto. Es que me da pena, voy a hablar y me voy a regar. No, don't worry. Okay? Don't worry. Just talk. That's the whole point. Okay, so what do you think, somebody? Do only physical stores limit the chances of growth for retail stores? Uh, yes, that's limit. That's limit. The, the, uh, oh. For very opportunities for the sale in mm -hmm. online. Wait, so not for other 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 customer. For other customers, okay. Other Someone customer else in other in other countries. Other countries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that physical and online stores will be the limit to chances of, of growth to retail stores because the 
eh, Electronic Store o, o may, may have low cost to the distribution, to the uh, employment, because I think that you only need two, per, two people, two, two employees to make the it work, the e-commerce work, I think. I'm sorry, I, I'm just... <laughs> Totally. I just don't find the, the words the right words. But you're doing it. You're doing <laughs> it. You're doing good. Very good. Okay. Awesome. Yes, guys. Totally. Okay, but I, I think that yeah, the the cost with the e-commerce is are lower than on a physical store. And for a retail store, that's the same because they have more cost to to move the product, yeah, to sell the product. I got you. Totally. What do you like about shopping online? Someone like Fernando, what do you like about shopping online? Uh, I can I can find something that I uh, uh, online that I can find in another in a, in a local store or, a or retail store or physical store. And totally. the facility to shopping to shop facility to, to buy. To, to do all the things that you can uh, save time buying online. So you don't have to you don't have to go to the physical store, you don't have to drive, you don't have to to find a, a, a parking in holiday, for example. You you have to to be in, in front of your computer and you can buy anything that you want. Awesome. Well, Fernando just pointed at the advantages. Let's see the disadvantages on a following video. I'm going to send you a link to your WhatsApp and the questions that we're looking at on page nine right now to start this topic really quick. It's a very short video. It's just two, two minutes or so. And so you can answer these questions. Uh, buying online is amazing. I mean, you, it's just what Fernando said exactly. You can find everything you want online. For example, I'm sorry? It depends. It depends of? Of the product and the place you buy into. Because <laughs> I'll give you an example. Uh -huh. I had a bad experience buying online, especially on Marketplace. Hmm. Why? Because there's a, there's a page that's called Monkey Express. I bought um, two smart watches and I got the delivery guy. Uh, actually, he brought it, to, he bring it to me um, to the gas station. When I pay him, he said, um, I tried to turn them on. He said, um, they say that you need to charge them first. Okay, mm. I, I came to my house and put them to charge. I wait eight hours. I tried to turn on one turn on and the other one didn't work. So I started calling to the store and they didn't give me a new smartwatch and they didn't give me a refund. So I had a bad experience. So I prefer to go to, to the store instead of buying online. Totally. I do agree with you, but yeah, totally. There are, there are some things that you can definitely find I have a 1978 Volkswagen, a Golf, Volkswagen from 1978. There are some parts that I can, I could never find here in El Salvador. I have to go to Mexico or order them online. So for example, yes, what Fernando was saying, but yeah, you have to think twice if you were going to buy online. So remember, don't share the video. It's on your WhatsApp. I'm just gonna split you so you can answer the two questions on page nine, okay? Don't share the content, just watch the video right now and then share it with your classmates, okay? Okay, let's go. Okay.
Edwin, Suleima, Roberto, let's go. And uh, Okay, Sandra and Andres, Alexander. And then, okay. we have to make two, um, the question feature or? Now you can answer the, the questions on, on page nine. Or I just send them to your WhatsApp. Um, mm -hmm. So the same questions we were talking about. About the conversation between Lucas and oh, no, Samuel? No, no, no. 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 It's on your WhatsApp. Uh, the first two questions. Uh, first one said, do only physical stores limit the chances of growth for retail stores? Oh, the first question. What okay. do you like about shopping online and do you prefer it over going to the store? Okay. <laughs> okay. To answer, teacher. Yep. Uh, Go ahead. We have okay. to okay. answer by myself or yeah your point yeah. of view remember it's always your point of view okay
Um, for me, you have a um, e commerce, the companies have better than coverage, have better coverage, yes. Okay, remember we're answering the questions that I pasted on your WhatsApp group is on page nine. That's all we're doing. Okay, if you already watched the video, you may start debating, you know, with your classmates, what are the answers to these questions on your, what's up? Yeah, it's good to buy in the e-commerce, but only in safe places, safe stores, for example, in eBay and AliExpress, you have the warranty that if you don't receive the product, they make a refund of the all the the of all of your money, and you can find uh, things that you can buy uh, in in the in the country. For example, uh, on December I bought a pair of shoes that I didn't. Uh, uh, see in the in the country uh, I bought my shoes uh, for e-commerce from Colombia and I'm very happy with that purchase and I, I think it's uh, a, a good place and that uh, how Josue says uh, you have to bought in the I in the uh, in the e-commerce or websites that offer the warranty for your money. Or you can use, for example, PayPal. PayPal is a good option. And I think it's a, a safe option to bought uh, online. And you don't have to give all your personal information to all the websites that you can buy something. Okay, and you prefer to buy online or in a physical store? Mm. In a physical store, but if it is a product in a low cost, um, I, I think could be um, a good option uh, to look um, so uh, many options for that kind of product that you are looking for. But I always uh, looking for product with a low cost because you don't risk a lot of money. Yeah. 
Okay. And they say, no, you have to do, have to do uh, the order again. And we, you have to pay it again. But we, we already have you to, to solve the problem. You pay twice. I do. You pay twice. <laughs> yeah, I pay, I pay <laughs> twice the pizza. But they didn't help me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I paid the pizza. And I don't know if they they came to the work and to the job i don't know because we are in quarantine and i don't know <laughs> i don't know what happened but i paid two twice for the pizza and i already have one pizza and that's the only that's the only thing that happened for me in, in the online store i think that that i don't i don't have problems with, with the app or the or the page I don't know and that's only uh, that's only food that I bought in, in online stores food or merch because I like cake pop and I have to pay for merch in Korean places and I, I already buy buy a lot but about a lot uh, but when it, it's about it's about to to buy buy clothes or shoes i have to go to the store because i have i have to try it. <laughs> i have to try it. that's all <laughs> yes i have bought uh, so many clothes through internet and when i received the pro I noticed the size uh, is not yeah. uh, what which fit me. So I have so That's many bad experiences with it. <laughs> <laughs> like what Francisco That's says, the reason that why I not able, like Francisco said that you're not able to see the, the quality of the product online. Yeah. So that's a disadvantage. Yes. Definitely. But lately, and uh, in closer stores, they they put in the indications they put the the size. Uh, what is the metro? I think I I think that the measurements the right for for mm -hmm. every size, and you have an idea that what size is for you. But not only it works. No, 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 and not, not, and not the all the stores put that information on, on the website. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I already see it in, on in, on Shane. I already see that, and that that's good for me. For me, it's good because you have an idea that if the site is for you or not. Yeah. Okay, well, we wait for the others. Does anybody want to share their opinion about the questions? The first question is a little tricky, you know, a little weird question. Do you think only physical stores limit, limit the growth of um, retail stores? I think they should have, they should have asked do online stores limit the growth of physical retail stores? Yeah, because I really are, are the same physical store and retail store. Yeah, but mm -hmm. the question is, what limits 
what limits the growth of a retail store? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. That's a, like the point of the question, right? What limits the growth of a retail store? Maybe the uh, geographic uh, location, something? Yeah, that's a plus, yes. I think in commerce, in, in commerce in general, I remember I, uh, one of my aunts, she started uh, until, um, I mean, her degree was up to fifth grade. She was a fifth grader, a fifth grader, but she got divorced and she, she had married with a rich man, you know, and she got divorced and everything was under her name. Hmm. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Pay attention, <laughs> learn, <laughs> learn. So she was very smart. She is very smart. And she sold the house that they got when they got married. She sold the house. It was right in front of Multicinema Reforma. So she sold the house and she bought a house in Santa Elena. Hmm. But the house, I mean, she didn't pay in full for the house. But after she sold the house for a greater price, the one in Santa Elena. And she bought another house in Escalón. And she sold that house as well. At the end, she bought another house in Santa Elena and she rented and she bought an apartment in on on the back of World Trade Center. The thing is that she learned that business so well that she, she just started selling properties. You know, she was very smart. And she told me once, if you start a business, location is the first thing that you have to think about. Okay. But nowadays, nowadays in these times, I'm thinking, Location is not important anymore, don't you think? The commerce, I mean, who needs who needs a storage? Okay, right? right. So, Predis, more strategies. Do you have different strategies and the extreme? extreme strategy that I have seen lately is reselling products from Alibaba and Amazon. Have you heard of it? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. It's like, okay, Freddy's, I'm going to sell you, I don't know, 100. Oh, look at this. This is transparent. Okay. <laughs> I sell you 20 of these transparent bottles, okay? It's a transparent bottle, okay? It's an invisible alcohol bottle against COVID, okay? And you pay me $1. Guess the cost. The cost of this bottle is just five cents in AliExpress, yeah. in AliExpress. But the thing is that in Amazon, they're more expensive and I'm selling it through Amazon to you for just a dollar, I mean, and I buy it in five cents, I mean, I'm getting a 95 cents. Uh, what? Um, oh my God, I forgot the word, earnings. I'm getting earnings for 95 cents on each item. And I, and I don't have the product with me, so I place the order on Alibaba, I send it to you, I send it to Amazon and Amazon send it to you. Oh my God, it's, what did I do? I did nothing. I just sold you the product. Isn't that crazy? I mean, have you ever tried that? Buying things from, I know, you know, in, in huge number. That's a different way of doing things. I, I think Sulema was saying that. Where's Sulema? Yeah. Yeah, on December, I was selling um, men's t-shirts. I was buying it from, um, uh, what's it called? Um, Place. 
<laughs> he says skin is white, I think, or so. <laughs> yeah, it was it was apparel stores. It's on San Salvador. Yeah. So I I used to buy let's say fifty t-shirts, and they came out like let's say each each one two fifty. Two dollar with fifty cents, so I was selling it at five dollars. So I was getting fifty half a profit. Yeah, to fifty. Yeah. And I'll sell. Let's say I was selling like around fifty t-shirts in twelve hours. Wow! Oh my so god! I seeing, so I was seeing my profit really fast. That's awesome. Well, yeah. We will talk about all this uh, tomorrow. It's a this very extensive topic. There's a small reading, a small lecture that we're going to do. I, I just wanted to point out another thing here. Uh, some difficult words, let's say, or if you are not pronunciating properly. And you will see this a lot in me. This is not jargon. No es caliche, okay? It's not jargon. It's just natural speaking. Normally, a teacher will tell you, I bought, okay, be careful, I bought a pair of shoes, right? More native speaking will say, I bought a, I bought a, I bought a, I bought a pair of shoes, I bought a pair of shoes, I bought a car, I bought a soda, right? I bought a, I bought a, I bought a, I bought an iPhone. You got it? Bora, bora. Next one. Hmm. Definitely. 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 Try it. Definitely. 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 Oh. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. That I, okay. oh, one thing. Yeah. One thing. I learned to speak Definitely. English. I learned to speak English by myself. I didn't go to school, you know, or what really developed my accent, let's say, was the call center, the call center jobs. That's it. I learned with a dictionary since I was seven years old. I don't know what happened, you know, but I started getting vocabulary, vocabulary. But the pronunciation, definitely. I mean, you have to, you heard, <laughs> definitely you have to work in a call center to develop your, your vocabulary or go to the States. I'm not encouraging you to you're some mojado, right? To, to go wet? No, no, no. I'm just letting you know. You have to practice eventually. Okay. I'll leave you with that. Definitely. 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 And I will stay tonight with the first one on the list, I think, because I don't have a different list. I'm going to do the attendance one more time and I'm staying with Alexander de Jesus for 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. Good. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, teacher. Blanca Estefani Navarro Flores. Present. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Erika Beatriz López Morales. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. Glenda, Glenda Laura Celadas Renderos. Eimos Alfredo García Granadino. Present. José Alberto Salas Benítez. To check, to check, for second time. Good. <laughs> Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura, Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present, good night. Good night, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Estefanía Carolina Reyes Sánchez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Good night. Bye. Good night. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good night. Good night. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Thelma Clotilde Peña Martínez. 
sick, but I'm here. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. I'll see you tomorrow at eight o'clock again. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. You leader. Okay, I'm just staying with Alexander de Jesus for 10 minutes. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Hey, Alex, do you hear that beep? No. Okay. When somebody leaves, you don't you don't hear nothing? No. I swear. Okay, so what you've been up to, bro? Well, I have been a little bit sick. <laughs> Still? Yeah. Last week, I had my vacations. But <laughs> it was terrible because I was sick. Well, actually, I am sick right now. You're still sick? Yeah, I feel so. But you're working from home? Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay. but yeah um actually all my all my whole my whole family is sick <laughs> is know. it omicron mm, we are not really sure because and you know what my father was um how do you say stay on the state on the hospital Saldana he, Hospital. Uh -huh. He stood. He stood. He was admitted. He was admitted. Yeah. He, he was admitted at the hospital. He was admitted at this hospital, Saldana, and he stood there. Stood there for five days on their suspicions about coronavirus. Actually, he was positive. Mm -hmm. And then when he came back, all the family, uh, the whole, the whole was, family was sick. Yeah, but nobody was tested or no, were they? Actually, no, because he only my father received a test, and he for and he was he was good. I mean. He was negative, but I, I, I really, I don't trust in that, in the, in those in tests. Mess. Yeah, because, are they provide false, positive, false negatives, negative, right? Really? Mm. Yeah. I don't it's, know. Uh, yeah. I don't know, Rick, but <laughs> because um, before being admitted to the hospital mm -hmm. he was negative mm -hmm. but in the another hospital he received a takar is the test the name and in that in the test he got positive okay yeah that, that's really weird uh, i've noticed a bigger affluence a bigger affluence of people here in a lab, there's a lab near to Pollo Real in La Constitución. And, and it's always crowded, you know, the whole day it's crowded. There's a lot of people running the test and my wife's company, um, everybody, every day, man, every day there's a new employee getting sick or going on disability. Like you, you know, like you said, you go on disability at the beginning, the ease was given three days for disability. If you had symptoms like cold, you know, rainy nose or sore throat, whatever, now they're giving five days. Five so, days. so if you go with allergies, you know, or saying that you had some fever to the ease, they give you five days and then they run the test. They run the test in five days. They give you the results. If you're negative, no more disability. It's crazy. But it work. <laughs> I mean, you have no idea. She has like 10 people, I think, already with COVID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so sad, man. I don't know. I, I, I think this sickness will never leave us alone. 
Yeah, never lose. But in, in this month, I believe that the the pandemic in El Salvador increased. Yeah, a lot. but they don't say it. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. I noticed. It. Numbers are not increasing on the media. Hey, I'm on vacation too. Yeah. This ah, is this are... is my last vacation, my last week on vacations. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I'm starting on Tuesday. <laughs> next Tuesday I'm going back hey but you know what they send me back home I'm not working from the side anymore yeah really no. yeah I'm very happy and that happened two days two days before they um, they sent me on vacation so on January the 13th they sent me back home that was Thursday and I just worked friday and saturday but guess what i received uh, a training to go out of the phone so i'm not taking calls anymore i'm just doing cases yeah. Yeah. man so, uh, <laughs> so i just did cases for two days that was day. amazing the last day i took a call just one call okay is is it as like a backup like a back office back office back office yeah yeah we're solving awesome <laughs> yeah i would like to get <laughs> that job <laughs> man you should you should have applied but yeah no you you may burn your bullets that's the way you say it you may burn your bullets if you try uh at that place you know a black hook because like on december they were paying 1200 you know a thousand two hundred for welcome bonus as a welcome yeah. bonus yeah it was amazing there was there were a lot of new hires you know very happy with this bonus yeah a lot of Who knows? <laughs> me hey but come on just set the goal set the goal for next christmas you know yeah. why not yeah, you're, exactly. you're almost done yeah i am going to keep practicing every single get a, day get a friend get a friend to talk every day you know it's very important because you need to continue speaking. Yeah. So are you running the test on you again anytime no. soon? No. Because you had COVID right before, I remember. Yeah. Four, four months ago. Four months ago. Yeah. When did you get the, the vaccines, the shots before <laughs> or after getting the COVID? <laughs> I have not get. You anyone. haven't gotten the... <laughs> what? You're... <laughs> Come on, you're not becoming a zombie like me. <laughs> yeah, no, no. It's, um, actually, I always for forgot to 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 get or to get a um, a date. <laughs> to get a or, date, you always forgot the date. So you used to make the appointment and forgot to go to to the appointment. Yeah. You're so special. Or, or sometimes <laughs> I I I got sick like. The day and they don't apply the vaccine. Oh man, that's sad. Well, yeah. take care. Don't go. Are you working from home? Yeah. Okay. I'm still working. <laughs> what about Jocelyn? I think she's. I, I, I don't know. She went there quick, but <laughs> she wanted to quit. Yeah, she told me in on the in December that she wanted she to, wanted to she wanted to she wanted to <laughs> she wanted to um quit quick. Quit, yeah. quit 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 she wanted to quit okay she told me yeah. in december that she wanted to quit after receiving a... come on repeat <laughs> she, she told me she told me that she wanted she wanted to quick <laughs> come on <laughs> okay she told me back on december she told me back on December that she wanted to quit. That she wanted to quit. That she, she wanted, wanted to. Quit. She wanted to quit. She wanted to quit. 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 There you go. <laughs> Come on, man. Practice. Practice. Uh, yeah. Practice. You can do it. Okay. Nice having you. I'll see you tomorrow at eight o'clock. Okay. Good night. Good night.